so hi everyone today i want to be showing us another very interesting video on how to program rasp berry pi pico this one here on my video using vs code if you are a fan of us code then this is your video so i summarized the steps involved and the first step is please make sure that your machine if it is a windows machine or a mac machine as at least a uh, python version 3.9 or higher for instance if i may check um the version in my machine python just a minute python version is 3.9.13 so make sure it's at least 3.9 or whatever earlier version you'll be having during your time all right so after making sure you have the latest version please download and install vs code to download vs code it's straightforward and if you have any issues i'll post links in the video description for you to be able to download vs code the third thing you want to do is install pico library in your machine okay so before we install pico library in your machine so i want to stop the code which is running in my pico assuming it's a new pico the first thing you start by doing is you because when you buy it when you buy a new pico you notice that it doesn't appear in your in your um doesn't make and drive in your machine so what you do is you press the boot button and power it on okay after doing that you notice that rpi stroke rp2 will appear so the next thing is download the micro python um, version the micro python version and uh, after you download it, I will provide the link. You drag it into your drive. Let me open my drive. So here it is. I will provide links for you to download this .uft micropython file. Drag it into your pico. One thing you expect, it should disappear, the storage. After disappearing then it means you have already installed it. After that, the next thing you do is I want you create a directory. So let's create a directory. Uh, just create a folder. Um, I want to start afresh so that uh, it can be easy. Create a folder. So I want to create a folder under folder. And I wanna save it, call it Pico twenty twenty three. Okay, so create new. Call it Pico twenty twenty three. Okay. After that and it. Make sure you trust that. The next thing you do is go into your extensions uh, we are in the final step we want to install our pico extension so search for pico after searching for pico you will see this p called w go and please install it you can see i've already installed it after installing that come back to your explorer file explorer and click to your create and folder and after clicking to your create and folder i want us to create another a file here call it test1.py and then i want us to use the example they are using in the library file that we have installed for pico okay all right just scroll down 
you will find this simple example here to blink an LED in in one second open it this is there what we do next is save it and then if you are on Windows or Mac just press Control shift P after pressing that choose this command configure project after doing that you will notice that your Pico will appear you we expect some files sorry to be created before Pico appearing um, control shift P is configure let's try connect it so it is connecting to com8 I think it should have it is connected this is the code right click run current code see if it runs or not run it yeah so our LED start flashing as you can see it keeps on flashing so I hope this is helpful and in case you find any queries don't hesitate to ask if you really doubt it we can end it it and upload it to make it flash really fast there you go run this project yeah so as you can see it's flashing really fast thank you so much uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's keep learning